Let's check you're all here. Holly, Violet, Rosie and Strawberry. Good. Now hold hands. I don't want to lose any of you in the woods. Uh, Nanny Plum, do we have to do nature class today? It's boring. Yes, all we do is learn the names of trees. And mushrooms. And frogs. Now, now, girls. Every young fairy needs to know the names of trees and mushrooms. And frogs. And frogs. Up ahead is a lovely example of a mugwort flower. <sighs> ben, Barnaby, Jake and Lizzie. Good. Today we are having nature class. Follow me. Excuse me, white old elf. Why do we have to do nature class? Because, Ben, it's important that every young elf learns about nature. <sighs> Who can tell me what this is? Um, uh, uh, is it a sort of plant? A wilted thistle is the correct answer. Oh. Now, what's the name of this flower? Oh, we seem to have walked into some elves. Good day, Nanny Plum. Hello, wise old elf. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. We're doing nature class. So are we. Let's team up. Yes! <laughs> I'm not sure about this. Quite so. Elf and fairy nature classes are very, very different. We're learning names of plants and things. So are we. Please, Nanny Plum, can we have one big class? Please, Mr Wise Old Elf. Oh, very well. I suppose I can handle a few more children. What? Wise Old Elf, there's no need for you to hang around. But... You can collect your children when my lesson's over. No doubt there's some charming fairy name for this plant, but my class has identified it correctly as a welted thistle. Oh, isn't it Harry Bittercress? Oh, interesting. Or Harry Bogweed. You both know the silly plant names, so you should both take the class. Hmm. On one condition. No magic. I'm doing nature class today, not magic class. So, it's agreed. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Look! Ah, an acorn. Now, what does an acorn grow into? Is the answer an oak tree? I was asking the children. Yes, yes, but an oak tree is the right answer. What the wise old elf is trying to say is that this little acorn will grow into a huge oak tree. Ooh, cool. Can we see it grow now? Oh, it will take years and years to grow into a tree. Oh. We could give it some magical help. Nanny Palum, we agreed. No magic. But look at the children's sad little faces. They'd so like to see the acorn grow into a tree. No. Please, Nanny Plum, make the acorn grow into a tree. Yes, yes please, Nanny Plum. I'd love to, but it's up to the wise old elf. Please, wise old elf. Oh, very well. I'll just do a little spell. Stand back, children. Just a small tree, please. Yes, yes. Thunder and lightning, north wind blow. Little acorn grow, grow, grow. Wow. Nanny Palum, is that your idea of a small tree? Um, it is big, isn't it? But I can easily make it smaller. No, no, it's fine as it is. Well, let's move on. Next up, mushrooms. Ah, oh, good. Mushrooms. Who can tell me what this is? A toadstool. Uh, yes, correct. Now, you should never, ever eat a toadstool. It would make you very... What Mr. Old Elf is trying to say is that you should never, ever eat a toadstool. It would make you very sick. Indeed. So, never, ever eat a toadstool. Yes, wise old elf. Of course, I expect the wise old elf would like to sit on it. What? 
Elves love sitting on toadstools. Madam, I think you will find it is gnomes that sit on toadstools. Elves, gnomes, whatever. You would never catch an elf sitting on a toadstool. Hello, everyone. Hello, Dad. Hello, Mr. Elf. Hello, Holly. I see you found my special reading place. Ah, it just catches the sun at this time of day. Uh, <clears throat> yes. Uh, here we have a toadstool. With an elf on top. Um, yes, with an elf on top. He looks very happy. Uh, right, let's move on. Yes, we have time for one last thing. Goodbye, Mr. Elf. Bye. What do you think the last thing is? I bet it's frogs. Nanny always shows us frogs. Yes, it'll be frogs. Who can guess what we're going to see next? <sighs> frogs. Yes, we're going to look at frogs. Um, uh, there aren't any frogs here. Not one frog. Well, that's disappointing. Can we go home now? It's no problem. I'll turn one of us into a frog. Can I have a volunteer, please? Come on. Who wants to be a frog? Goodness, what a lot of miseries. I'll just have to do it myself. Zigzag dog, make me into a frog. Wow! <laughs> a common frog. Look how slimy it is. <laughs> and how smelly it is. How silly it sounds. Well, that brings today's nature class to a most satisfactory close. Uh, uh, Nanny Plum, you can turn yourself back now. I don't think Nanny Plum can turn herself back again. She can't pick up her wand. Oh, what a shame. Now, for your homework... But Nanny Plum, we can't leave her as a frog. Oh, can't we? Oh, I suppose not. Uh, which fairy wants to turn her back again? Me, me, me! All right. Holly, do your best. Um, I'm not sure what spell to use. I'm sure Nanny Plum would want you to just have a go anyway. OK, I'll try this. Africa fairy! Um, what's the fairy? Oh, it works. Oh, thank you, Holly. You did very well, Holly. But you shook your wand a bit too hard. Africa fairy, frog to fairy. You see, children, it's all in the wand control. Yes, Nanny Plum. Fascinating, Mistress Plum. But if we might return to nature class for a... Yes, children. What Mr. Old Elf is trying to say is that... That brings today's nature class to a close. close. That was the bestest ever nature class. Thank you, Strawberry. It was excellently cool. Thank you, Barnaby. So, from now on, Nanny Plum and the wise old elf always teach us nature class together. Uh, all right. <laughs> oh, if you insist. Hooray!